Hey, it's Greg, a uh, good cemeterian up here in Minnesota. Uh, you might have seen some videos on my tripod uh, chain hoist. Uh, yeah, let's see if I can give you an abbreviate, abbreviated version of uh, how to use one, or how to build one, how to erect one, uh, as well as uh, what I found uh, over using it, uh, especially last year. We're uh, May of 2000, 2019, starting my third year uh, uh, resurrecting, uh, uh, restoring, repairing, uh, this little cemetery not far from home. So what we've got here is basically the tripod head Which is what our chain hoist hangs from. I got a two-ton uh, chain hoist that I had on hand So basically what this kit consists of is about six pairs of um, Floor jacks. So from your local yum lumber yard you get uh, I think there's a pair in uh, a pair in each box about 40 bucks a, uh, a box so each one comes with basically a set of telescoping tubes and they're used to actually down your basement or wherever to lift up or jack the floor above you. So with the kit, besides the two telescoping tubes, and they've already got some holes in it, but you'll have to drill some more holes so it telescopes uh, the way you want and also so you can actually um, connect, you know, I've got about each leg can have up to four segments so depending on how high a lift or project you're working on uh, that's why i've got all the the, uh, the holes drilled also to uh, connect them i use these uh, i think they're 5 8 grade 8 hitch pins and they're really handy because of the the handles on them and then on some of them i've also added uh, uh, snap hooks snap rings carabiners call them what you will so i can attach these safety chains to the legs to keep them from splaying out but let's uh, let's revisit the uh, tube. So uh, uh, initially, so the tubes come with in the set. Originally, that used to be a flat piece, and then that would uh, sit on top of this spike, uh, I'll call it, and uh, that's what you attach to the basically your floor joist. But so my thought was to make use of that metal. I bent them up. Actually, I bent them up like this to cause or create kind of a foot so it quit uh, keep from sinking in the mud uh, I decided against that and went with this supplied piece uh, basically this is the adjuster so I uh, uh, you have to these are you have to uh, screw them off grind down the ridge so that you can thread them in and out so they're totally removable uh, they come from the factory. Uh, basically, you can't remove this without without force. So I did stop about there. If I gripped it with both hands, I could I could do it. So what I did is took these uh, rings, if you will, these collars, and I welded them to the bottom of uh, bottom of one of the uh, legs of the pipes. And then when I really need extra, um, uh, let's say. Uh, uh, extra, I don't know, um, stability, I guess you will. Uh, I can insert those pegs, those screw pegs in and let them uh, dig, sink into the ground uh, or whatever surface you're working on. A lot of the times though, I'm just going without that pin and if the ground is a little soft, I'll set the leg on a board. So pretty self-explanatory other than get rid of that, don't use it, pain in the ass, waste of time, take this weld it into the bottom of a tube and now that also when you need it you can screw these pegs in and also that helps keep the uh, the earth or ground from jamming up inside this uh, hollow pipe so the tripod head itself is actually connected together with uh, uh, it's a grade 8 bolt I think it's uh, 3 quarter inch in diameter it's about oh, 12 13 inches long and basically what you need to do, uh, you can already use some of these pre-drilled holes or you're actually gonna be on a, a big big pipe. You can use those pre-drilled holes, but if all you do is bolt three of these together or three of these together through the, uh, without modifying the, that bolt hole, you won't be able to splay these legs. So what you need to do is elongate uh, the holes on the two outer sides. So, we elongated it to about a oh, nearly a three inch slot there and the same thing on this side so now when you 
pull it out and erect it, you can actually create a, a uh, isosceles triangle or uh, splay the legs out so they're all equidistant from each other. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, put this on pause and we'll drag this stuff out and start assembling it.